In this video, I will show you how I lost control, where I could either have lost or crashed my Mavic Mini. I was debating if I should make this video or not, but I decided to show you how I bailed myself out of a critical situation that occurred because of sketchy judgment. I often see the question how the Mavic Mini handles the wind, so this might give you an idea about that. Then it's good to know some basic steps that you can do and uh, still save your drone if you keep it cool. So make sure to watch the video to the end as I've included some valuable advice for new pilots after the intro. Welcome to another video. I'm Henrik Olsen and if you want to learn how to make better videos with your drone and your camera in general, then consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss out on my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. I had planned to do some testing with ND fillers for Mavic Mini. I got the all day kit from Freewell and needed to capture some footage that could be used in an upcoming video. To show you what you can benefit from using fillers on a drone with no manual camera control. Weather was nice, but a bit windy, but I was not that concerned because I've been flying in strong wind before and the Mavic Mini handled it okay. This is an example from a connection test I did where it was blown 60 meters out of position, but I could easily bring it back. And the wind did not feel as strong as that. I figured if I kept the drone below 10 meters or such, there should be no issues. I would use the Cinemote to make a nice soft panning as reference in 2.7K. In general, I'm getting warnings all the time about the load and wind, basically flying over a field where a cow farts that will trigger a warning in the interface. I began the test with some simple pan back and forward in my backyard, with an object pretty close, using my hedge as a guinea pig to show you what the footage would look like without motion blur to smooth out the footage. I rose the drone to around 10 meters and put it in position, and made the first pass diagonal across my plot with no issues. The footage was underexposed with 1.7 stop and it was around noon. I decided to repeat it again with the exposure compensation value set to zero as a reference, despite this would leave the footage overexposed as indicated by the zebra stripes. If you're wondering how to enable those, then I made a video about all the features that is inside the DJI Fly app. You can access this video through this card or in the description below in case it doesn't show up here. On the second pass, things started to go wrong and the drone was forced by the wind towards some tall trees. I tried to fight it, but I kept being pushed towards the trees and a crash would have been imminent. One thing that I've learned in situations like this is to go high. So I instantly increased the altitude of the drone and avoided the immediate danger, not colliding with the tree. Now you'll probably say this is because you are flying in cinema mode and you don't have enough power. And you're probably right. But you have to realize that when an unexpected situation like this occur, one you didn't plan for, you only have a fraction of a moment to react and make the right decision. Because the Mavic Mini is so light, increasing the altitude and still being in cinema mode make drifting worse. But even switching into sport mode, I made multiple attempts to correct the path and fly back. But I just kept drifting away towards a park of the nearby castle that is a no-fly zone. That is a no-fly zone because that's where the queen lives part of the year. My biggest fear was that I would be losing the visual feed for the drone that would either make me land or crash into somebody's garden. It was the Mini and with 249 gram, I was not that worried about it causing damage. More about invading people's privacy, flying into a no-fly zone and uh, of course losing my drone. So many things ran through my head. I had to make a decision fast and check the screen. I had plenty of power and a solid camera feed and I knew there was a grass field in front of the castle park in the direction the drone was drifting. I decided to let the drone continue to drift down in parallel with the road until I reached the grass area and then bring it down there. I managed to do that successfully so I can go and pick it up. I picked up my Mavic Mini so there was no more flying that day. I could have tried the return to home feature, but I doubt the drone would have enough power to have made it back, as it was upwind. What do you think? It's always easy to be wise behind a keyboard. My advice to new pilots in case of a drift or flyaway. Don't ignore the warnings on the screen, especially not the red ones. Make sure to disable Wi-Fi on your phone for maximum range. Make sure to start out with a fully charged battery, giving you enough time to react. Switch the drone into sport mode 
for maximum power. And try not to panic. You can do that by going high with the drone, at least in that way you won't collide with anything. Use the camera feed on the drone to point the drone in the right direction and attempt to fly back. If that is not possible, use the camera feed to spot out a suitable landing area on the ground. If you lose the camera feed, you still have telemetry and the icon in the middle of the screen can help you determine the drone's orientation and position relative to you. Looking at your last videos, you might be wondering why are you suddenly beginning to do all these beginner mistakes? Like flying in high wind, uh, taking off from a bench, uh, stuff like that. You have been preaching uh, for many years that you have to fly out against the wind so you have enough power to make it back. That is still solid advice. But make no mistake, we all make bad calls sometimes. But only a few admit it. I think it's important to share these for others to learn especially for new pilots to the hobby. But as I said earlier, you only have a fraction of a moment to react. So it's really important that you have a few things that you could fall back on and do automatically when things start to go not as planned. Do you want to learn how to edit amazing drone photos? I made a video about that showing you how you can edit uh, photos directly on your smartphone using the Adobe Lightroom Mobile. In case you missed that, you can access this through this card. If you're interested in other videos about the Mavic Mini, I compiled a playlist that you can access through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be back on the next one.